Hi, my name is Yemin. I'm going to have my breast implant surgery tomorrow. This was Ye Min before her recent decision to have a breast augmentation in South Korea. Born with a slender frame, Ye Min was unsatisfied with her limited breast volume. She came to Soul Guide Medical in South Korea, which helps international patients with a variety of procedures such as dental, skin care, and other cosmetic procedures. She sat down with the CEO, Tony Medina. She finally decided on silicone teardrop implants, which are shaped and made of a soft gel. The implants were placed under her arm to minimize scarring, and this method is useful but cannot accommodate larger implants. Many women choose to have their implants placed under the breast, which can fit larger implants. A less common method is placed around the nipple, but can affect nerves and later breastfeeding. Yemen decided to have the implants placed under the muscle to give a more natural look and reduce the threat of complications later on, such as capsulation. Going from an A cup to 32C was the most natural increase as it fit her body frame most aesthetically. Many factors should be taken into consideration when choosing which implant suits you best, such as your current breast size, age, body size, and desired outcome. Teardrop implants, which get their name from their shape, can be useful with women who have moderate breast drooping or who have limited breast volume. Round implants are the most common and can be silicone or saline, which is made from a liquid. Round implants tend to provide more of a perky form and depending on your desired look, this may be the best fit for you. Before we continue, be sure to visit our site at soulguidemedical.com and see videos of other patients we have helped or email us at soulguidemedical at gmail.com today. After the procedure was set, Yemen arrived to the clinic, which is located at Gangnam Station, exit 12 in A Tower Building on the 10th and 11th floor. She was greeted by the friendly staff and shown the way to her locker to change into an operation garment and lock away all property and personal effects. It is very important that the face is cleaned and any jewelry removed, as well as nail polish from your hands and feet. This is for your protection. After a day spent in bed, Ye Min was quickly able to get back to daily tasks such as returning to work and household chores. I slept a lot yesterday, uh, but I feel much better now and I start eating something um, and drink some uh, pumpkin juice. I feel yeah, much better now. And this is the first time in my life trying on this kind of sexy dress and this is what I've always wanted to have on. And you see, I don't even wear a bra. Changing bandages and laser therapy to help minimize swelling and scarring and were included in the total price of the procedure. Over the course of the next month, you will experience some pain and swelling, which is tolerable. Certain tasks may be strained or limited for the next week, such as exercise or strenuous labor. Be sure to avoid alcoholic beverages or cigarettes until swelling goes down. Before the stitches are removed, you must be careful not to let water go directly into the operated area. This is to make sure there is no infection and speed recovery time. During showers, you can use a waterproof towel or make sure the operated area is kept dry by simply directing the water away. The doctor is very nice. He explained everything detailedly without me even having to ask and he listened passionately to my remaining concern and that made me feel that I can trust him that's why I decided to have my surgery done with him It now has been two months since I have had my breast augmentation surgery through Soul Guide Medical and I'm happy now and For me, this process has improved my life so thanks to Do Dream and Soul Guide Medical for helping me through my journey For a free consultation, contact us through Soul Guide Medical today. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for similar content. Don't forget to like our video and share it with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.